A massive fire in Washington Park. Well, it burns three neighboring homes. Fox 2's Chris Renier with the latest on the damage and if anyone was hurt. No serious injuries are being reported. One firefighter was treated at the scene here for heat exhaustion. Behind me, you can see smoke still rising from the two homes that were destroyed. The investigation into what caused the fire now starting to unfold. Bomberia Automotive Group Sky Fox over the scene here earlier. Authorities tell me the two homes which are destroyed were both vacant. The third home, which is damaged, was occupied. Three people were inside of it at the time of the fire. Fortunately, they all got out okay. Washington Park firefighters getting the call about 4.15 this morning. The assistant chief for the Washington Park Fire Department, Ronnie Harris, tells me when crews first arrived, the two vacant houses were already fully engulfed and the flames were spreading to the third home. The fire quickly went to three alarms with crews from seven different departments responding here. The three people who were inside the damaged home tell us they were all sleeping when the fire started. One of the three, Ronald Thin Dent, told me for some reason he just woke up and realized what was happening. He got his girlfriend and her father up and they all got out of the house. When I woke up, I just opened my eyes. The screen on the window, the fire, it was on fire. That's the first thing I seen, it was right in my face. So I woke up, I'm, nah, this ain't real. I looked again, I, yeah, this real. <laughs> I didn't believe it. I kept hearing uh, glass break, you know. I'm like, what's going on? Fire department beating at the door. He rushing, trying to get everybody out the house. It was crazy. The Washington Park fire chief tells me his crews did have some water issues, which delayed them for a few minutes during the firefight. He says one nearby fire hydrant did not work properly and crews had trouble getting the cap off of another hydrant before finally getting it to work. The Illinois State Fire Marshal has been called in to help determine a cause for this fire. Reporting in Washington Park, I'm Chris Renier.